Welcome back to episode 2 of my job hunting series. This week, I'm focusing a lot on prepping for my interviews. A first round interview. First of all, you have to bring back your resume. Tell me about your style, walk me through your resume. Guys, I just woke up. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the hell happened, but I've been on my 8 a.m. crying. Why did I wake up at 11? Anyways, let's get the day started. I just checked my email and I have a first round interview. Um, so I'm not all that interested because basically it doesn't really align with my career goals, but it's still good to get some interview practice out. I have my personal journal for content stuff and my thoughts, and I also have a job search journal. So this one, I'm gonna document my entire recruitment process. I do feel super grateful that I have this platform here as a creative outlet to pursue content creation. It really keeps me sane and productive right now and gets my mind off recruitment stress when it gets a little too overwhelming. And speaking of content creation, look what came in the mail. It's from Casetify. Look how freaking cute this packaging is. Today's video is sponsored by Casetify. First, let me just show you what I picked out. I film all of my content on my phone, so I risk it all to get that perfect angle. And that is why my phone looks like this. Let's first get her clean up. Whenever I'm filming, I like to prop my phone against whatever I can find. And without a doubt, my phone always falls to the ground. As you can see, I never learn my lesson, which is why the case to cases are actually perfect for me. Their impact cases offer military grade protection, and the case is certified to withstand drops of up to 6.6 .6 feet. Oh my god, as I'm editing this, it's breaking my heart just how much my phone is going through. When I choose my cases, it's most important that it is cute, functional, and protective. When you go on the Case Device website, there are so many designs to choose from. From influencer capsules to anime editions, you can even design your own prints. That drop did not sound good, but it's okay. The case is fine, the screen is fine, we're good. These are the two designs that I chose. The first one is a cute sticker collage of Muffin Maru and grocery items. So adorable. And the second design I chose is more chic and simple with black hearts. Now I can finally film everything in peace without worrying about breaking my phone. You can go on casedivide.com slash lifewithangie to see my top picks. Don't mind this, I just have dry lotion on because the pimple is growing. I posted my Depop on my Instagram and some of you guys actually ordered stuff, so I'm shipping it out today. I'm gonna be honest guys, I could be a lot more disciplined with applications, but I'm just prioritizing content so I'm avoiding the stress of recruiting. So yeah, that was the whole point of me documenting this to hold myself accountable so I could actually give updates to you guys. Next week, I do have an interview coming up, so I'm gonna probably prep for that. Or just refresh my memory on my tell me about yourself, my experiences, and then just my story about why I quit, what I've been up to, and researching a bit about the company. That's the goal for this week. I'm gonna shut this out. I keep avoiding interviewing because I think of the worst case scenarios, I, I want to be as prepared as I can and mm -hmm. then go into it feeling confident. When you're in the beginning, right, literally, especially if you haven't interviewed for the longest time and all of a sudden you start interviewing, it's going to be so stressful, nerve-wracking. And also, like, the time to job is like, so, so, so crushing. And then, like, getting all the rejections for not even passing the screening. Like, I keep getting those and I'm like, damn, am I doing something wrong? Yeah, I think it's just the process, right? But first of all, you have to revamp your resume. The moment you revamp your resume, just apply, apply as many as you can. Get that repetitions, right? Get really comfortable with your interview skills, right? In the beginning, just kind of like write it out, write out your script. Because when you write, you kind of like program your mind how to kind of foresee those questions coming. And when you do it so many times live in a real situation, you just get more comfortable, get comfortable. It's hard to even pass the first round, right? So, but the thing is, as you progress, the more the more interview you get, right? You start passing the higher manager round. For the first like first week or two, 
all the interviews that I got, I always, I always bomb. But then like, and as I continue to interview, I reach like final stages more and more. And towards the end, every single interview that I get to, I always made it minimum to the final round. Yes, in the beginning, I feel like the beginning is the hardest. And as the process continues to go, for some people, it gets easier. I mean, you always know you're getting better and better at it. Talk to yourself, you have to trust the process. You're talented. You just need to talk to the right company, right team. Right after you finish one interview, if you didn't get an offer, you did not get moved to the next round, you always will do a little bit of reflections, right? Well, what did I do wrong, right? You always kind of know which question you bombed, which question you didn't do well. So next time around, you can prepare for that question. And girl, you're so smart. I trust you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You will get it. Don't apply to every single job. Like totally unrelated jobs, right? Kind of like give similar answer to those jobs, right? To any company with those jobs, you provide similar answers, right? And essentially, you want to leverage what you have learned from banking and analytical. Right, that model of skills to your next job, right? Work on very strategic projects for the organization in a collaborative, cross-functional capacity. Essentially, the whole process usually start with an initial call with a recruiter, right? Just to level set what you're looking for in terms of compensation. Do you need like sponsorship, right? Like why are you currently in the market looking for jobs, right? What why would you interest in this job? These are kind of like questions recruiter ask, but recruiter's jobs that actually want you to be more forward. That's their goal to fill the position. But when it comes to hiring managers, it's a little different. They genuinely want to know like, if you're able to do the job, if you have good personality. Girl, you're good. We got this. We just got to trust the process and then we will get that job. Your resume can always be better. Every time I finish writing my resume, I think it's perfect. But then the next time I read it, there's something else I want to change. Alright, let's get rid of this. Sixth grade to twelfth grade. And I have not picked this up in so long. done for now i cleared up two garbage bags of things which i'm proud of and this is what my bed looks like now i really like the progress that i've been making okay so i finally got myself a hard drive for all these videos that i'm filming it's just been taking up so much space on my phone and laptop so i spent like a couple hours just importing everything over and yeah i just feel so much more organized after this hopefully my macbook runs a lot faster now Another day, another round of applications. I feel like the hardest part for me right now is finding roles that I'm really interested in on LinkedIn. Also, if you guys are applying, make sure you're keeping track of all of this on an Excel. I'm trying to figure out what to wear right now because I don't want to be overdressed but I also don't want to be underdressed. I think I might wear this with some heels to elevate it a little bit.
guys, she's so brawling. See what is here? This is the driving force. You're pushing up like with the elbow. <laughs> we just did a 15 minute the interview that i was supposed to have for tomorrow got cancelled this is gonna be a lot harder than i thought i just applied to a couple more job listings just now i did 10 for today guess i'll just keep applying tomorrow i plan on going to cafes for the next three days tomorrow i'm gonna meet my friend sabine Day. after that i'm gonna go to a different cafe apply for a little, a little bit but the main focus is to edit videos for my youtube account and then the day after that i'm gonna try to do a full recruiting day so revamp my entire resume because i have a marketing version but i also want to create a finance version and that's the plan for this weekend i'm about to call my friend to do a mock interview or like an interview prep Hey mama, how are you? I'm okay. I actually was very productive today. Applied to some jobs this morning and then I tried to do some editing for YouTube. Or let me know what you think. Honestly, I don't know if I'm ready for like a completely full on mock interview, but I do want to go over some of the questions. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's the best way to go about it. So the key questions, tell me about yourself and walk me through your resume. Well, I started my professional career at Jeffries as an equity research analyst which is why I transitioned into investment banking. Now, that's why I'm here today interviewing for this role. Oh my god. Okay, high-level thoughts, right? So, make, you could make it a little bit more concise, right? Overall, mm -hmm. you have the framework there. Okay, let me dig in a little bit. though like this is kind of my struggle meals <laughs> essentially the whole purpose is to like heal your gut your body can more readily absorb everything else afterwards it's 